Do you know the biggest achievement about gardening is that you spend most of your time taking care from small plant and now they started bearing fruit as a reward of your hard work. Just like you raise a child and give him a proper education and at the end of the day he become a useful person. Nothing felt better than this. Hi everyone. For the last video we talked about Yara 161616. 16, 16. It's one of the best fertilizer for growing up your plant. You can check out my previous video in the link above. You can click it. But now at some point when your plants are grew old enough, they will come in the fruiting and flowering phase. And this is a time when your plants started to reproduce themselves in the form of fruits and seeds. For this to happen, you need a higher potassium fertilizer and also alongside with the help of secondary elements such as magnesium, boron and also other trace elements in order to make it a success. And this is where Yara come up with the two product. One is 13, 13 21 and another one is 12, 12 17, 2. One comes in red and another one comes in white in color. Both share the similar function and at some point and they are different. And now for the following parts, I'm going to explain what these two fertilizers can do to your plant and how to apply it. Firstly, these two fertilizers has higher potassium ratio than nitrogen and phosphorus. Higher potassium fertilizer helps to improve flowering and also increase the fruit size. In the commercial markets, the farmer needs to use chemical fertilizer in order to increase their fruit production and also not compromising the fruit quality in order to meet the demand of the market. Compared to traditional way, chemical fertilizer provide better solution to cope with the overwhelming demand of the fruit consumptions. Well, secondly, potassium also helps to improve the transpiration of the plant. The process transpiration will help the plant to absorb the nutrients from the root and take it up to the leaves. Through the process of photosynthesis, plants are good enough to bear fruits. Last but the most important things, potassium helps the plant to gain immunity and strong enough against the bad bacteria and pathogens. When the plant is healthy and strong, they can undergo photosynthesis with ease without any problem. On the flip side, if the plant is not healthy, such as they have a corrupted leaves, rotten root, and the plant will not function properly, and the process of bearing fruit will be disturbed. Just like when a person is sick and go to work, he or she cannot give in their best during the worst condition. So always take good care of your plants before thinking of bearing fruit. And now let's talk about the differences between these two fertilizers. As we can notice in these two tables, 13, 13, 21 has higher NPK composition compared to 12, 12, 17. But we can see 13, 13, 21 have no trace element, but the 12, 12, 17 had magnesium and other trace element. When potassium, magnesium and trace element work together, they will help to reduce flower drought. And now let us move on with the most important part, what and when to apply it. For the early stage of the plant, we apply 16, 16, 16 until the stage 3 when it starts to flowering. This is when you need to apply 12, 12, 17 in order to produce more flower buds and also reduce flower drought. Thanks to the help of magnesium and trace elements that plays an important role in this part. And then we move on to the stage 4 when it starts fruiting. Then we do apply 13, 13, 21. This is a stage where plants start to bear fruits and they need a lot of nutrient and potassium fertilizer. And so we need to push the three limits with this fertilizer. And lastly, these are the guidelines on how you apply your fertilizer. If you are not sure about the application rate or any other question, you should always consult your seller. For this both fertilizer, they have high nutritional content, high solubility in order to make the plant easy to absorb, and so we always get a fast and notable result. But unfortunately, this two fertilizer is not cheap, and also it is not suitable during the rainy season. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful, and we will continue in the next part, part three.